Welcome to Handyman 7. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. This is just your run of the mill uh, bottom basement bargain. Parkside power uh, drill, cordless power drill tool thingy. Though it is, sorry about that, though it is cheap, it's not exactly uh, worthless. Uh, quite the opposite, frankly. I was really impressed with this deal, with this, well, with this cordless power drill, power screwdriver thingy. L listen, I'm not a handyman. I'm not a handyman's handyman. I don't know what that means. But anyway, I'm not an experienced handyman, though I do occasionally dabble into the odds odd um, well housework which requires not necessarily fixing or building things but performing i don't know run of the mill maintenance you always need to tighten a screw or to do the odd bit of uh, uh, adjusting even if you're not a true carpenter or builder or what have you therefore i think this is quite the necessary tool it's light, it's compact, and it's cheap. And I got this from Lidl by all these three considerations, not really knowing what to expect. By the way, this is the tool. This is the battery that didn't come standard in the box. Rather, I had to purchase it separately. For those of you curious what this battery is like inside, well, this is just a casing with specific connectors. Uh, really, the batteries inside are like this. They're not classic AAA or AA batteries, rather they're laptop and I believe electric car units. These are uh, connected serial and serial to perform, to give you a lot of power and, um, well, capacity. To give you a lot of range or so I'll just put these away this is as I've said the battery unit which did not come standard rather I had to buy it with this generic looking box which contained the battery and the charging unit you just connect it like this well you should connect it correctly though no, I'm uh, not sure how, yeah there it goes so it's only one way you're only able to connect it one way so rather good battery meaning that even though the capacity is not that great two amps so 2000 uh, milliamps for those of you more familiar with mobile phone speak uh, it holds the current rather well and I do prefer it over the extended range one you just connect it there yeah that felt really manly but it's tight and secure I, there is a higher capacity one a rather capacious looking thing but that just well it just uh, works against the spirit and the d design theme of this rather light looking uh, screwdriver because it's heavier to hold in hand and I suspect this screwdriver is more um, more directed to the occasional user, you know, the hobbyist and the, the guy that, uh, well, just wants to fix things around the house. Anyway, that's the box. This didn't come standard. It's just my other tool. I'll show you how the bits connect in a second. Here is the set of bits and drills that came standard with the screwdriver and i think this is the only disappointing thing about the whole deal because as you can see i've been using these well with a rather heavy torque and speed setting i was uh, uh, fixing to a uh, screw in a uh, screw about this large into a wooden plank and well, it did, the bits did suffer, though the screwdriver itself didn't slip. The clutches inside didn't slip, meaning that this is a rather, well, it's a good quality screw and it's, well, it's greatly built. So other than this inconvenient, which I suggest you should buy 
separate bits. I think this is of a great deal. Holds uh, battery capacity is great and it holds really well. I will show you a practical application in a second. I just want to mention that I have an account from a good friend who said he built a whole gazebo and used this thing to screw in uh, bolts even in two millimeters thick uh, metal uh, piping which well it's rather impressive for a hobbyist tool what more could you want you might find yourself screwing in or tightening uh, kitchen cabinets and what have you it's not meant to do heavy work but at for what it is it's great so yeah the box is a bit flimsy and the bits here are well they're not that great if you want to use the drills, you just take one out, you fix it here in, in this, uh, well, the pointing end, uh, way to go, describing these things, and just snugly tight it. You can tight it by holding on to the, to the tip. There we go. Tighten up quite nice. Now I'm not going to pretend this is straight, I'm just using it for demonstration purposes. And there we go. So that's how you use the, the drills and if you want to use the screw tip, you just remove this. This is rather an inspiring sound, it scratches my ears, but anyway, no complaints here. You just fix it in place. It's magnetic though, this, the, the bits that come standard are not magnetic and will not hold the screws into place. So yeah, that's how you use the, the screwing function. It's very ergonomic, it's great build quality. There's no scratchy uh, burrs or whatever to uh, damage your skin or your hands. Uh, there's setting for the speeds right here on top, which you can just lower speeds from 1 to 19. And then there's the torque settings, two torque settings, 1 and 2. And I'll show you right now how you can use it to screw things in place. So here are some screws. I took one at random. Don't judge. Here's the screwdriver and here's a big piece of wood, though this is pine wood so don't consider it a difficult job for this screwdriver. As I've said, the screws are not held into place by magnetic force so that's a downside for these standard drill bits, but you do have the option to get magnetic ones and well, just for the fun of it. Let's see how this thing works. No hole. And don't look at my hands because I'm not a handyman. Let's just reduce the speed and increase the torque. And there we go. And there we have it. Let's unscrew it. No slipping from the clutch. A uh, great tool, it cost me um, 20, the equivalent of 25 euros to purchase the drill itself and an additional 20 euros to get the um, charger and the standard battery, though each of these uh, tools come with a three year warranty which is great for a hobbyist tool because you only use it occasionally and if it breaks you want to be able to return it or to fix it or whatever again great build quality easy to use very ergonomic it's great if you plan to assemble some uh, kit furniture that you bought from ikea or stuff like that i wouldn't recommend it for professional usage for obvious reasons but for the odds bits of work that you have to do around the house is just great. So thanks for watching, I hope you found this video a bit informative. 
Uh, and remember, as always, I buy weird and quirky things, so you don't have to. Bye-bye.